Catering orders can be a vital part of doing food delivery. I personally don't think that many drivers are aware of them, and if they are, they haven't tried it yet. So hello and welcome. My name is Russ. Today's video, I'm going to share some insights and then my future plans concerning catering orders. This possibly is going to make you want to go out and do some too. So let's get started. Earlier this week, I took my very first deliver that order. It was a lunchtime delivery from Urban Plates, this really nice restaurant, out to a business about 10 miles away. And don't worry, I'll share about the pay a little bit later in this video. I was elated to get this order. Previously, all day I had it on and I didn't get any orders, so the second that sound went off, I accepted it. I really didn't care what it was, I just wanted to do an order and see how it is. Now keep in mind, I've been doing food delivery part-time for going on six years, so I know what's a good order and what's a bad order. So in the beginning, I don't know anything about catering. I want to take many orders and that way I can figure out very quickly if they're good or bad orders. So getting back to this specific catering order. UDM, check him out on YouTube. He has great catering advice. He recommends accept all the orders instantly, review them, and then if you don't want it, then reject it so another driver can have a chance. If you wait too long, then it's gonna count against you. And this is the opposite of food delivery where once you accept that order, you better do it. Otherwise, it's gonna count against you. So keep that in mind as a variety of these orders come up. This does make sense because if you think about it, Deliver That wants you to be a reliable catering driver for them. So analyze the order, decide if you want it or not, and then when you commit to it, follow through to completion. So with this lunchtime order, I had a couple hours to spare and I got on the apps and I was able to make money in the meantime before I even had to show up to this order. And this was really nice. I ended up doing an Amazon Flex order as well as an Instacart order. So this was great to be able to make money and then plan ahead to get to the restaurant on time in order to pick up the food and drop it off. Now, I did make a mistake. It was well before 90 minutes before, and I accepted the job I wanted it to start. That way, the company would know that I was going to take the order and finish it. And then I got this text message here stating that I did it too early. So according to the Deliver That website, you have to accept the order 45 minutes before it's supposed to start, and at the latest would be 30 minutes before pickup. So 90 minutes was way too early. So let's talk about the app layout itself. Keep in mind, this is a good thing. The app is simple and unsophisticated. I love this. We shouldn't have to know computer programming to figure out how to use an app. When you get in there, all the information is laid out in a text format and you're able to easily see it. So there were a couple confusing things in there, the signature block and also a photo. I had to really figure it out. I was pushing something, it wasn't working, but actually there's two buttons down below where it says get signature or something like that. You have to touch that first, then it brings up the box for you to do the signature and it'll save it. The second important thing, and this is what you need to remember, you're gonna use your cell phone camera to take a picture first. Then when you're ready to upload it in that deliver that app, then you're gonna say, take a picture. It's gonna bring up your history of photos. You select the right photo that you want and upload it through the app that way. It is not like the other food delivery apps that you may be used to where you're taking a picture live from your phone. There was something else I wanna share about this app. Because I was multi-apping, I would go back and check it every now and then before starting the order. And even when I had started the job and I was headed to the restaurant, my order would disappear and I thought, oh no, this thing has crashed. And so I would force reset it, start it again. And I was really worried that I had missed out by not leaving it on the screen all the time. By restarting the app after a minute, my order did pop back in. So this is something to keep in mind. Again, the app is simple, unsophisticated, and that is good. So just rest assured that everything's fine. Your order will show up again if it for some reason doesn't. So when I entered the restaurant, everything was fine. I had the one bag with me. And then I went out to the car and got the second one when I saw the quantity of food. 
The lady confirmed my order. The Easy Cater has a number at the end and then she matched it up with her printout. And then I normally would have asked her for a signature and this is when I was fumbling to try to figure it out. So again, down below in the menu, you touch that you wanna get a signature, brings up the box, and then you can have the restaurant sign for the order. And it was pretty smooth. And then real quick, I wanted to show this to you. This one is an insulated bag. This one is really thin material. And you can see here how thin and insulated it is. Well, on UDM's channel, he mentioned a link to Amazon where you can buy these cardboard inserts that are a perfect fit for this. This made this so much stronger. And so in the video, I took all the loose lunchbox containers and I just stacked them in here. And then I also placed the rest in the other one. So I was able to carry them both in my hands. So check out UDM's channel, a great resource. And you can find one of his videos where he links those boxes on Amazon. I recommend them and they're well worth it. So I carried everything out to the car, loaded them in the back seat, and obviously I had plenty of room. There were only 10 basically to go lunch boxes and they easily fit in the car. And then I headed out the 10 miles to the corporate location where I was gonna drop off. And it was a very nice day. When I got there, I unloaded everything from the back seat. I carried it in and I said hello and there was a lady there and I had her name and she showed me off to the side. There was an area where I would set up the order. And this is something that you need to keep in mind. You as the catering driver will arrange everything nicely and professionally. And so I set it up pretty quickly. The ladies had all gathered around because they were pretty hungry and ready to dig in. I quickly took a photo using my phone and then within the app, I figured out how to upload it through the app. So now this brings up an important thing. Customer service is essential. When you're doing catering orders, you need to dress nicely. I wore a newer version of my clothes so that I'm presentable. You at least wanna be dressed the same or a little bit less than the office workers that typically you're gonna be going to. You do not wanna be acting like a bum off the street or you just got out of bed and you're filthy, unkempt. That would be the wrong thing to do. You wanna be a professional. Customer service is key. All these companies are tipping really well on this app. And so you wanna have a good conversation with them. You wanna make those employees realize that you are bringing their meal to them and you took good care of it. So this is all an important part of that customer experience. The company is ordering from a restaurant. They're outsourcing it to you as the catering driver. You wanna be that seamless transition through the whole process, representing deliver that quite well. So when I was inside talking with the ladies, I was asking them how their day went. I was making small talk as I was setting up the food and I had a big smile on my face because I was happy and I was there to serve them. This will go a long way towards them potentially increasing your tip. And I know it's not all about tips and I'll cover the pay here very soon. So don't let these catering orders fool you. This is the time for you to shine, hone your customer service skills, and really just make that such an exciting experience People are tired at work, and this is their break to go enjoy some time together, eating food and enjoying themselves. And just like I did, I'm sure you're gonna represent Deliver that well, giving that great customer service. So I finished up making my small talk as I gathered up my boxes and headed back out to the car to complete the order. All right, so now it's time to get into the pay, and I know that's what you really wanna hear about. How much money did I make? Total, and I'm rounding up $32. Base pay was $8. I got a $24 tip. Now keep in mind tips on Easy Cater, it's a tip pool, so it's not by specific order, but overall, this was well worth my time. It took me 30 minutes, a total of 30 minutes from the time I got there till I finished the order, and I drove 10 miles. $32 for 30 minutes of work, that is a great hourly rate. $64, can you beat that? The pay was great. I'm gonna take as many of these orders as I can. And again, I'm gonna take all of them and, and then I'm gonna learn what's a good order and a bad order. So far, I would say at face value, the, the value of this food was only like less than $200. And to make this kind of pay, I would say this was not a bad order.
So for my very first order on Deliver That, I would say the pay is well worth it. How can you learn more about Deliver That? They have a website that I'll link in the video description. They also have a YouTube channel, so check it out. They give you a lot of information in there that'll set you at ease on how it is to do a catering order. So if you're new to food delivery, then definitely watch their videos. If you're a pro at food delivery, it's similar. You're just going to have a larger amount of food. But overall, I would say you're already set up for success. So again, check out Deliver That's website as well as their YouTube channel for more information. So I mentioned food delivery experience. Have you ever actually gotten a catering order on a food delivery app? I got one on Grubhub and it was pretty exciting. I wish I'd get more, but actually to this day, I haven't gotten another one. But I have that video for you next and you can compare the difference on Grubhub comparing with Deliver That. So enjoy and I'll see you in the next video.